Hi. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where, in a situation where you need to uh, pray to God, but you're uh, in a public place and you don't want to draw undue attention to yourself, and you just want to um, con converse with God right then and there to um, whatever. Pr problem you have, um, whatever situation you're going through, um, well, here's the solution, um, and, and it's found in, um, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 1. I'm going to be reading about the story of Hannah and Peninnah. Now, there was a certain man of Remethaim Zophim of the mountains of Ephraim. His name is Elkanah, the son of Jer Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zoph, an Ephraimite. And he had two wives. The name of one was Hannah, and the name of the other was Peninnah. Peninnah had children, but Hannah had no children. This man went up from his city yearly to worship and sacrifice to the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. Also, two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, the priest of the Lord, were there. And whenever the time came for Elkanah to make an offering, he would give portions to Peninnah, his wife, and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah he would give a double portion, for he loved Hannah, although the Lord had closed her womb. And her arrival also provoked her severely to make her miserable, because the Lord had closed her womb. So it was year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, that she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then Elkanah, her husband, said to her, Hannah, why do you weep? Why do you not eat? And why is your heart grieved? Am I not better to you than ten sons? So Hannah rose after he had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh, now Eli the priest was sitting in the seat by the doorpost of the tabernacle of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul, and she prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. Then she made a vow, and she said, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your maidservant and remember me, and not forget your maidservant, but will give your maidservant a male child, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life, and no reason no razor shall come upon his head. Now it happened, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli watched her mouth. Now Hannah spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she was drunk. So Eli said to her, How long will you be drunk? Put away your wine from you. But Hannah answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor intoxicating drink, but have poured my, have, but I have poured out my soul before the Lord. Do not consider your maid servant a wicked woman, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief I have spoken until now. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant your petition, which you have asked of him. And she said, Let your maid servant find favor in your sight. So the woman went her way and ate, and her face was no longer sad. Now, what um, Hannah did in, in that situation was um, <clears throat> she, pr she prayed um, from her heart. I mean, and only her lips moved, but there was no sound coming from her. I mean, is that is that saying that um, that God is deaf? No, it's saying God God hears our prayer. I mean, whether we speak it out or or we um, voice it out from our heart with um, with no sound coming out. I mean. Later on, Scripture do, does say that um, we, that the Spirit itself—I mean, the Spirit Himself—pray prays for us um, using um, groanings that cannot be uttered. I mean, I mean, 
we God hears our prayers so where where we speak them out loud or we speak them softly and um, we should be, be um, thankful that he hears our prayers as long as um, we're, we're doing what what he says for us to do and and that's where I'm going to leave the discussion for today so have a good day and God bless you.